Real estate Q&A with C. Sonia in under three minutes. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what do I need to buy a house? Hola, this is your chica Sonia where I teach you how to buy, sell, and invest in houses for your Chicago lifestyle with eXp Realty. And again, on this video, we'll be talking about what do I need or you need to buy a house? So here we go. So there's a couple of things that you're going to be needing, actually a lot, uh, when you buy a home. It's obviously a commitment. You have to be ready for it. Have that mindset that you're going to be ready for it and also want it. So uh, number one is you need to be 18 years of age, legal age in the United States to buy a home. And then you're going to need a job history. So at least two years minimum of a job history within the same industry if possible, because they're gonna the lenders are gonna be looking in and that as well, your you know, your banks and et cetera. And then also you need to have fair credit. So fair credit could be a, a credit score of five eighty and above. However, Remember, the lower the credit score, the worse you are in terms of getting a high interest rate on that mortgage. So you want to have that nice, good credit. And so you're also going to be needing money in the bank. So believe it or not, I've actually gotten people that say, hey, can I just have $500 in the bank and buy a house? No, you need way more money than that. So you're going to need to think about costs. And so just it's also going to depend on purchase price so you want to think about it in terms of home inspector fees uh, there's just a bunch of fees that you're going to be needing or you're going to be needing money for those fees so i would say please have a minimum at least three to five thousand dollars just for your closing cost alone and then your down payment is completely separate so think about that as well but you do need a couple of thousand in the bank not just like one hundred dollars that's not going to get you anywhere you're also going to need bank statements. Typical uh, lenders, banks, brokers are going to want at least the last six months worth of your bank statements. They want to see your history of how you pay, how much money you have going out, are you, you know, mismanaging your money, etc. And then you're also going to be needing pay stubs because they want to verify that you're actually working. Because I could say, yeah, I've been working for 10, 20 years and I might not even be working. So they're going to want your pay stubs. If you are self-employed, they're going to want a profit and loss statement. So you can obviously get a home too if you're self-employed, but they're going to need that as well along with at least 30 days worth of pay stubs and lastly you're going to need at least two years worth of your income tax statements to see exactly what you're claiming to the state so there's a, a couple of more out there but they're very minimal uh fees but these are the main ones if you have any questions please comment below don't forget to subscribe or find me on insta or facebook